Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to reset and reinstall your Apple operating system, based on iOS 11. This will leave you with, a fresh factory installed iPhone. Then we will set up storage for media to online Google storage and switch on auto backups to iCloud. Please note all your media including photographs will be erased during this process, so back up media where possible before starting. It's a good idea to plug your phone into mains power so the battery does not run out. Ok let's get started. On your phone press settings. General. Scroll to the bottom and press reset. Enter your passcode. Press erase iPhone twice. Enter your Apple ID. Press erase. The Apple time bar will appear. Next your phone will demonstrate some available languages. Press the home button. Select your language and country. And at the bottom of the screen choose setup manually. Enter your Wi-Fi setting or mobile connection to start. Join the network. Press next. Data and privacy. Press continue. The first thing you will have to do is enter your fingerprint touch ID. Follow the on-screen prompts. The scanning will be displayed on your screen. Press continue. Choose a six-digit passcode. In the passcode options, there is an option for a four-digit passcode if you prefer. Enter your passcode twice. Next you have a list of options for the reset. Choose Setup as a new iPhone. Enter your Apple ID and password and press Next. If you don't have an Apple ID there is an option to bypass this stage. Next you will be sent a 6 digit PIN to a nearby device. Enter this number. And accept the terms and conditions. Please wait. The next few screens are options for the use of your phone. Location Services uses GPS and Bluetooth to determine the approximate location of your device. Enable and press Continue. Apple Pay is a mobile payment and digital wallet service by Apple, that lets users make payments using your phone. We're going to skip this stage. You will not need to buy any extra storage, press Continue. Siri. The intelligent personal assistant uses voice queries and a natural language user interface to attempt to answer questions. Press continue. Follow the on-screen prompts. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, hey Siri. how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. Siri is now set up. Press continue. 
Analytics shares usage info to Apple and app developers. You can choose allow or don't allow. Display Zoom sets the size for icons, text and buttons. Press next. You're done. Press get started. Find and open the App Store. Press continue and choose to allow permission to your location. Press search. Search for Google Photos. Press the cloud shape to download. Open Google Photos. Allow access to your photos. Would you like notifications? Allow or don't allow. Select between high quality, a slightly compressed version of the original, free unlimited storage, or original with is the original full resolution of the photo. Sign in with your Google username and password to back up. The username usually ends in gmail.com. Enter your details. Press next. Enter your password. Press next. Your Google profile image should appear. Press done. Now you can set up iCloud, where you can save a backup of your phone's settings. Open settings. Click your name at the top of your screen. Press iCloud. You can toggle what you want in your backup. But this time we want photos off, as they are being saved in Google Photos. Remove anything that was previously saved. Press Apple ID to go back one page. At the bottom of your screen press your iPhone icon. Press iCloud Backup and here make sure iCloud Backup is on. When all the settings are the way you want them including any downloaded apps you can press backup now to save your setting to iCloud. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. For more videos, like and subscribe. Thanks.